Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be another update for the 2020 Vision Project Pan. This is a Project Pan collab involving several Project Panners, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. And the focus of this project was to finish 20 makeup items and 20 non-makeup items in the 18 months leading up to January 1st, 2020. I believe this is the eight month update, nine month update. It's getting so hard to keep track of these monthly updates and what number I'm on. <laughs> Either way, there were obviously 40 products total in this project at the start and at last month's update, I had five empties and I have one more empty to add to that. And that is my Mary Kay face cleanser. I finished it off about a week ago and it's a great face cleanser, but it's old. It's been in my stash forever, and I have more to get through before my numbers are down. So I'm really happy to have this empty, which means I am down to 34 products left in this project. I'm not going to go over all remaining 34 products. I am using many of these products regularly and consistently. Some of them I really can't show you any progress on until they're gone and others, even though I'm using them, I'm not making any measurable progress. And then of course there are still a few stragglers in this project that are not getting used consistently. And I don't like that, but that's the truth. As always, let's start with the non-makeup items. After I finished that Mary Kay face wash, I have focused my attention once more to my Burt's Bees Citrus Facial Scrub. I went through a slight depression after one of you mentioned that this product has been discontinued. I didn't even know it. I've had this particular one for a few years and then I got into buying other things and then I stopped buying things until I could get my numbers down again. But I always intended to go back to this eventually and it's no longer available and I just couldn't even touch it for a few months. I was so sad by the thought of using this up and never having it again that I just stopped using it, but I've gone through a sufficient mourning period and I'm ready to get focused on using this up again. I do hope Pert's Bees will consider bringing this product back because I love it. Oh, I'm so sad. Here's my progress. I only have been using this again for the last few days. So there's not a ton of progress, but if not by next month, I think this will be gone in two months. I just use this in the shower. It's gentle enough for everyday use. And I love the way my skin feels on the days that I use this. It's just a good product. I'm so sad. I just can't understand why Burt's Bees would stop carrying this item. It is that good. Oh, I'm so sad. Okay. The other products that have been in my shower that have been getting regular use are these two guys. They were both rolled in to my mix of products I'm using consistently right around last month's update. And I cannot believe how much progress I've made on this body wash in one month. Part of that is due to this just being a small bottle and part of that is due to this just being a very liquidy, not very concentrated formula, so I have to use much more than some of my other higher quality body washes to wash my body. And it's just the way it is. I have no doubt that this will be gone in the next couple weeks, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be a goner. This body scrub is from the same set, and I'm not a big fan of this body scrub at all. I am looking forward to getting it out. I'm not a big fan of any body scrub. You guys know that, but I don't think this one's any good at all. The whatever is in here, and it feels kind of like sand, is so tiny that I can barely feel it scrubbing anything on my skin. And whatever the rest of the product that's in here is, I don't know if it's, it feels like very jelly. It feels like jelly. I don't know what it is, but it feels like jelly. It leaves my skin almost dried out when I get out of the shower. And I'm used to using body scrubs that are a very oil-based formula that 
exfoliate while moisturizing my skin, and this one exfoliates and dries my skin. So I don't think this is a good product at all. I'm just gonna work on using it up and move it on out and forget about it. This was obviously brand new, and we are down to about here right now. So I think it's gonna take a couple months before it leaves, but I have no doubt that this will be gone by the finale of this project. The third part of this little praline and honey trio is the lotion, and I made some good progress on that as well. This is what it was at the beginning of the project and at last month's update, and this is where I am now. So I used about half of the product. You can see, even just from me tipping this around, it's a very thin, liquidy formula that doesn't provide a ton of moisture. It's good enough for my skin, but if you were to have like dry skin and really need something moisturizing, this would not do it for you at all. It's fine for me. I'm, I just have to use a little bit every day. It's very runny and messy, but we're getting through it. I think it'll be gone by next month's update. Fingers crossed. Because that body wash is going to be gone long before next month's update, I have decided I'm going to go back to this body source bath and shower gel in the scent Sunny Citrus, and I will continue to work on this once that praline and honey one is gone. So just so you know, I haven't done anything with this in the past month, but I'm going to get back to this as soon as that one's gone. Okay, two more products for non-makeup, and they are both products that I use on my face very consistently. This is the Misha Time Revolution Essence, and I don't have quite as much progress over the past month, and the reason for that is, rather than using this twice a day over the past month, I only used this in the mornings, and that is because I was doing that night peel from Lancome, and so I'm supposed to apply that directly onto my skin after washing it at night and so usually I apply this directly onto my skin after washing my face so I just decided to cut this out of my night routine for the last month and only use it during the day but I did still make some pretty decent progress and now that I'm done with that peel for another round and taking a break from it I'm back to using this twice a day so I should get back to my regular progress marks for the next month I have been using this Aqua Hyaluronic Acid Water Drop Cream every night since the start of this project. It didn't feel like I was making any progress at all for months and months and months, but finally it is obvious that I am getting through this product. I am down to about here now. So maybe a third of the way through the product. And it's just a very thin, watery cream soaks right in looks like nothing feels like nothing really nice for nighttime because i don't feel like i'm like putting anything gross on my pillow it just soaks right into my skin and dries up but at the same time i also don't feel like i'm gonna miss this once it's gone like it was nice to use i'm glad i received it from 08l for review purposes but there are a lot of nighttime moisturizers and I have like six more to get through this year. Well, not this year, but I have six more to get through in my stash before my numbers are down. So I'll be glad when this is gone. I am not emotionally attached to any of these products other than this Burt's Bee scrub. This is the only one that I, I'm just gonna be so sad when it's gone. The rest of them, I'm like, meh. Okay, on to makeup. I have six products I wanna talk about. These are the kind of products I am using day in and day out very consistently. They're still going strong, but I am working on them. The first one is this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. You can't tell any progress, but I did end up taking the stopper out and I am getting a ton of product on the wand now. There's no trouble picking up product out of the container and I probably have several more months worth of product in here now that I took the stopper out. So I'm still using it and it's still going strong. I've really gotten into a groove with this Ulta Beauty Illuminating Bronzer product. When this project started and I first started using it, I was quite frankly lost. It was much more sheer than I thought it would be. 
Um, I was planning on using it as like a cream bronzer and it was not a cream bronzer and I had to kind of play around with it, figure it out again and develop a new game plan for it because it was a very disappointing cream bronzer. This month, I have been using it as a step before putting on foundation. So I apply one pump onto my hand and just kind of smooth it out all over my entire face. And then I apply my foundation and I've really been liking it for that. I'm still not exactly sure what the real intention of this product is. Like whoever created this product, I would love for them to be like, no dummy, that's not what you're supposed to do with it. Do this and tell me what I'm supposed to do with this because I've tried, the two best ways that I've enjoyed using this are either mixing it directly into my foundation or applying it first and then applying my foundation on top of it. If that's not the way I'm supposed to be using this product, I don't know what is, but I think it works well for that purpose. That being said, I also don't think this is like a must have in my makeup collection, in my ideal makeup collection. So it feels really good to be using it up and potentially just eliminating it from my stuff. This is the progress over the past month. Right there, so that's pretty good. Um, it'll be close to see if I can finish this by the finale, but I'm enjoying it. I think it's good. I'm wearing it today. Another product that I've made some pretty surprisingly good progress on over the past month is this Becca Liquid Illuminator. This is the shade Opal, first of all, and I really like this product. I think I prefer cream highlighters, like a ColourPop Super Shock highlighter to a liquid highlighter, but as far as liquid highlighters go, this is a good one, and I would recommend it. This is my progress over the past month, and we're pretty close to the halfway point, which is amazing. Okay, the last three products I wanna talk about today are all ones that I mark on my little paper. The first one, I couldn't make a new mark, but I know I've worn this over the past month, so it's kind of surprising. I guess I just didn't use it enough. And that is my number seven chubby lipstick in the shade Daydreamer. This is a beautiful product. This is another product that I recently found out has been discontinued. I did not realize that. And Although I think this is the kind of product that a lot of companies can make and it's very comparable, I love this shade and I'm sad to know that I can never buy this again unless I buy it on Amazon for like 30 bucks, which I'm not gonna do. Um, so yeah, even though I haven't made any new progress to mark on the paper, Sneak, what are you doing, Sneak? This is where I'm at and it's just such an easy go-to. I just grab it out of my purse, slap it on, and it's great. The reasons I may not have made as much progress on this number seven product is because I was reaching for another lipstick that performs in a similar function to that one. Creamy, moisturizing, pinky nude, and it's also in this project, and that is my Sonia Kashuk uh, Lux, Shine Lux lipstick in sheer pink lust. And this is the one I reached for a little bit more often during the past month, and I have the progress to show for it. As you can see, it's very comparable to the last lipstick. I probably should not have put both in this project, but I'm also kind of glad I did put both in this project. I don't have that much to go on this one. That is it. And I will show you. This is the first mark I've been able to make on this since the start of the project in July, but that is my little progress line right there. So yeah, happy to have that, happy to have some measurable progress. I don't know which lipstick I'm gonna grab for more during the month of March, but they both live in my purse and hopefully I will get some good use out of both of them. I had another good month with this Tarte Clay Primer Stick. I am so glad I pulled this into rotation because I was working on the Laura Geller Spackle Primer, which is also a very, very good primer and I enjoy it very much, but it's not very satisfying as far as project panning and making progress. This one, on the other hand, is unbelievably satisfying 
and it was pretty much brand new at the start of this project and here is where I am now and this is my progress over hold on I mean oh there we go this is my progress over the past month so another good month with lots of progress I think I have two more months left of this before it's gone as far as getting a good value out of this product, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter because this product is no longer available and it's getting old and I just need to use it up and move it out. And it feels really good to be making such good progress on this. I also have another one of these in the deeper shade. This is the shade light and I have the shade medium. So I am humoring the idea of pulling the medium one out during the summertime and knocking that one out because I'm already at about the same place I am as this one on that one. So maybe I could get both of these out this year. That would be kind of exciting. All right, guys, that is it for this update. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.